This is an example for method of joints. First start with a free body diagram for your framework. Simple framework with two applied loads and two supports. To do method of joints, what we need to do is to draw a free body diagram for each of the joints in here. So we need to look at the forces on that joint, the forces on that joint, the forces on that joint separately as we go through. So construct a diagram that looks something like the framework. Make sure that you have your loads and all the members shown. What we're going to do is look at the free body diagram for each joint. So we're going to look at each separate joint as we go through. So take the joint with one reaction here. Um, vertical, horizontal, on an angle. We will take the angled member and draw two components for the angled member. Um, look at our sum of forces now. Vertical forces, this is 8.75 going up. This is the only other vertical force in my diagram here. I'm not interested in anything outside of that diagram. So this one must be going down at 8.75. So that 8 going up, 8 coming down. This is 60 degrees and so is that angle. And I can use that to find my other component. This component is going this way. This one must be going that way. My components must go nose to tail. Tan 60 is opposite over adjacent. So tan 60 is 8.75 over x. x is equal to 5.05. .05. So this is 5.05. .05. My two components are going that way, so my total vector must be going this way. So 8 up, 8 down, 5 going left. It's not balanced. This here must be therefore 5 going right in here. 5.05. So now my verticals balance and my horizontals balance. That is a complete free body diagram for that joint. I now go to another joint. I can go to this joint, but you'll quickly find that there's too many things that we don't know. So we'll go up to this joint. If this end is going down, this end must be going up, showing me that the member is in compression. It's on an angle, so draw its two components. And these are the components from this end. So going upwards, 8.75 and 5.05. .05. Horizontal, on an angle, draw its two components. Be careful when you're doing these, do not overlay that red line with the black line. Because you'll forget that there are two forces there and not just one. So keep your lines separate. Um, horizontal forces, five going left. Don't know, don't know. Can't do that one. Vertical, eight going up, ten going down, unknown. What I do know is that that going up and that obviously going up must equal the 10 going down. So this must be 1.25 going up. 1.25, 8.75 equals 10 going up, 10 going down. This is 60 degrees. Therefore, tan 60 is opposite over adjacent. Tan 60 is 1.25 over x x is equal to 0.72 this force must be going that way following along the components and its value must be 0.72 so 10 going up 10 going down 5 going left sorry 5 going right 0.7 going left this one must also be going left and it must be 4.33 going that way so that one is now balanced I can now transfer these forces so that one's going up this one must be going down 
two components there must be 0.72 and this one in here 1.25 this one comes from this end must be going that way 5.05 .05. horizontal on an angle draw in two components in here so horizontal 5.7 don't know don't know can't solve verticals um, vertical vertical that one is 1.25 going down this one here must be 1.25 going up given that it's the same angles as that one this one here must be 0 0.72 so this is going that way this one horizontals I now know one two three out of the four horizontals therefore this one must be going that way and that plus that plus that must equal 5.05 .05. so this one here must be 3.61 then it's just a matter of carrying that process on so transfer those onto there the 4.3 onto there analyze that one and then when you get to the last one all your values that you transfer should all add up already if they don't then you've made a mistake somewhere along that process to get our final values we now just simply need to work out the total force in these members so this member here was this one it is arrows going down at this end so down that end up that end so it is in compression and we can get the magnitude of this vector by doing that squared plus that squared equals that squared so this force here will be the square root of 8.75 squared plus 5.05 .05 squared which will come to 10.1 and we just go through and do each of our members this one here we know, already know it will be 5.05 .05 going that way so it's tensile and we just work through our framework.